welcome to our next session in SAP MM training so today we'll be starting our next topic MRP okay so MRP is a bit uh, big topic and we'll be covering in probably two and three parts so let us start with the um, MRP so the topics that we'll be covering in today's uh, session will be uh, the basics of MRP and the planning level in consumption based planning Prerequisite to for executing the consumption based planning or MRP. Difference between consumption based planning and MRP. MRP types uh, in our SAP system. MRP data in a material master. And MRP profile and material status and its customizing. So let's start with, uh, with a business example first that where you will be using this functionality. So Suppose you are working on a SAP project as a MM consultant, okay, for a company called ABC Private Limited. ABC company wants to use material requirement planning to optimize its logistic process. Okay, so ABC company they want it the their materials, uh, whether it's an in-house manufacturing, whether it's a uh, external procurement, it should be planned automatically by the MRP system. And you have been asked to check if consumption based planning can be used and which customizing setting therefore need to be made to make this functionality working. Okay, so as a, as a SAP MM consultant, so you will be uh, checking that what type of MRP type is relevant for what type of materials or what, uh, for the business and what are the customizing settings required to run the MRP system. So let us start. First of all, we'll start with what is MRP. Okay, what is MRP? What is the purpose of MRP? So MRP stands for material requirement planning. Okay, as the name is saying, requirement planning. So it is the whatever requirement is there from the business from different departments, it the system will be using this tool to plan all the procurement process whether in-house or external automatically okay using the MRP system the main purpose of MRP is to guarantee material availability MRP determines also what material is needed what quantity of the material is needed and when the material is needed okay so basically three things it will find out what material is required how much and when okay whether after one week after 10 days tomorrow when when it is required okay so let's have a first look at the overall MRP procedure okay so how the overall procedure will work and then we'll go into depth of each of these procedure okay now there's a term in SAP PP module production planning module which is known as bill of material Okay, they set up a master data which is known as bill of material. Okay, what bill of material is? So basically, like um, if you creating a product, okay, that product can be could have been created from different components. Okay, so if you look at this screen, so if you look here, so say finished product one. So whatever product you're creating here, okay, it could be say. This is made from two different products. Okay, so assembly one and component two. Okay, and again, the assembly one should maybe it's used, it's created by from two different materials, maybe this one and that one. Okay, that's bill of material. So that means to make this product, what you require is you require this product, assembly one, component two, that and that, whatever is required. Okay, so that's bill of material. To create one material, first you need the basic product. Okay, raw material you can say. Okay, same thing you can see. Even you can see the different level of code. That's a that's a top level. That's a top level you can see. Okay, level zero zero zero. And this level under that level you can see this this product is made from uh, see assembly level one. Okay, and again assembly level one is made from another component called a component one and component two. Okay, so that's second level and this is the third level. Okay, so this is a bill of material. Okay, now we'll take another example. Now 
if you look at this screen if you just say think about a company who is manufacturing a pc or maybe a laptop okay just as pc okay now to make the pc what are the different different requirements if uh, if the company wants to make a pc they need what they need they need a processor okay they need a keyboard they need a monitor again they also manufacturing the monitor but to manufacture the monitor what do they need they to manufacture it they need part 1 maybe another part 2 another part 3 another part 4 okay so these are all basically called bill of material that means to manufacture a pc you need all these things and they also have a child level bill of material okay now the concept i think is clear what is bill of material okay now we'll look at the overall mrp procedure so what mrp does now let me go back to one screen back now again if you look at the material here say um to make the pc um you need um uh, say a keyboard and a monitor okay so maybe the monitor is manufactured internally in the company okay so i will call it i i stands for internal okay internal manufacturing and keyboard maybe say this is external procurement that means the company is making the pc but using the different components but some of the components they buying from outside from the vendor some of the components they manufacturing inside for example manufacture the company the company is manufacturing inside okay in the production department however the keyboard is bought from the external vendor okay so there are two types of procurement basically in-house sorry yeah from procurement point of view it's in-house and it can be external whether you want to buy the product from outside <clears throat> whether you want to buy the product from inside okay or you want to manufacture the product within the company inside okay so um even um let me even let me show you material master first and then i'll come back to the next slide okay so in the previous topics we have seen that how we can uh, manufacture how we can um, create a material master record okay so let me open existing product So if I go to MM02 and uh, we created some material earlier, so if I call say ABC material, enter, enter, enter. So I show you where you mention that whether the product is in-house manufactured or external procurement. If you go to MRP1, uh, a two tab, here in under MRP2 tab, you can see procurement type is F. If you open that, you can see F stand for external procurement okay procurement from the external vendor E stand for in-house that means within the company will manufacture it okay in the production and X means can be both sometimes can be both but uh, you use either external or in-house okay so here you can see as I said it can be in-house it can be external now when the MRP run when the MRP run, what MRP will do is anything which is um, uh, anything which is um, a production uh, uh, in-house. Okay, say so in-house. What is in-house? Here you have in-house. Here you have external. Okay, so MRP will run, and anything which is in-house, it will create a planned order for that. Okay, planned order, and planned order will be converted to a purchase requisition. Uh, sorry production order okay and if it is uh, external procurement so this is internal manufacturing or internal procurement and on the right hand side you have external okay if it is external the system will automatically again create a planned order and it can then convert can be converted to a purchase equation okay this is one example another example which can be uh, which is most commonly used so what will happen is let me write down here MRP overall procedure okay so if your product is